This panel shows us how to make antimatter, and it absolutely works. Throughout all human history, it's estimated we've only made about 20 nanograms of antimatter, that is 20 billionth of a gram. Creating 1 kilogram of antimatter would cost around 60 quadrillion dollars, making antimatter the most expensive material known to man. Antimatter is exactly what its name says. It has the opposite properties of normal matter. Electrons have antimatter counterparts called positrons, and protons have antiprotons. Even though in theory antimatter should exist in equal amounts as matter itself, in everything we've observed, antimatter is extremely rare, contradicting very important theories about the universe's origins. To make antiprotons, you need a machine like the Large Hadron Collider. If we fire two beams of ultra fast protons at each other, they collide and create new particle antiparticle pairs. This is the primary method for creating most types of antimatter. After that, we have to separate them using a magnetic field, bending them in opposite directions, successfully separating the two. But even though separated, they're still traveling and jiggling near the speed of light, so we have to use an electric field to slow them down, much like hitting the brakes. Next, we make them interact with a cool cloud of electrons, which absorbs their excess energy. Now, this antimatter can't be kept in a regular bottle. If antimatter contacts normal matter, they annihilate each other in 100 deficient release of energy. If 1 gram of antimatter annihilated with 1 gram of matter, the energy released would be equivalent to about 40 tons of TNT, roughly 3 times the Hiroshima bomb. Instead, we have to use a magnetic trap to store the antimatter inside a perfect vacuum, using magnetic and electric fields to keep it suspended without touching any water. Walls. Studying antimatter might give us the next big leap in physics. After all, it contradicts important theories since the observable universe has much more matter than antimatter. So, explaining that asymmetry might give us a major breakthrough in understanding reality itself. 